In this video, we will see how to bind a nested grid view using rope on row command. In another example, we saw we can do it with the help of row data bound on a grid view. But this is not a right way or a recommended way to do this because when a grid view is binded, on row data bound is fired at that particular moment and it is called for almost every record. So it is going to slow down the things. Uh, the best way is to use on row command. So when a user click on show details or show child nested grid view, it is going to show you the records in nested grid view at that particular view moment only. So we will see how we do it. Let's say we have a grid view uh, and it has departments as per another example and we show some records in it by default it will show all and we bind it over here in let's say we have a class cls departments it has a method which is called select departments and we will assign it to gd departments dot data source and then we do the data binding if i run this one it will show us the records of departments now let's say if we want to add a template if we need a child grid view which is nested grid view and we want to show reports based on the on road command we will create a on row command and we will create link button inside the tem template field and this button let's say show details and the command name is show details or show employees for example and further inside inside it we are going to have a grid view or data list or repeater control which is nested and we name it GRD employees. It will auto generate the records as well. And let's say show if the command is called fe dot command name is equal to show employees. What it is supposed to do? we will create a row object the grid view row which is equal to the naming container of this e dot command source so actually the idea is that this grid view row is equal to the container which contains this particular link button which is being clicked if it is an image button over here or if there is any other control we will mention it as it is let's say if it is a button and over here it is also button so we will mention exactly the same thing but the idea is that the naming container is actually the container object of this particular link button which is actually the row so row dot sales or row dot find control which is gd implies grd implies and it's a grid view and we assign it a any data source which is equal to we need the class file object so cls implies obj cls implies is equal to and 
we will call a method which is cls implies dot get uh, dot select employee by department id i will show you this method this method is calling a store procedure and we are passing a department id as a parameter and it is in return it is returning a data set so we will mention the department id we can fix the id just for this this particular moment and we will do the data binding as well so if we run this we will mention the text like show details you can see it will show the records of this specific department on any click and if you want to show or hide for example by default it is hide and we want to expand collapse this we will say ln k hide and we will hide this button and if it is a command command name is equal to hide employees we will show it over here when it is when it is said that show implies and we are going to hide this in this situation also uh, we have to show hide the buttons so i will hide this button once it is being shown so button type row dot find control this button dot visible is equal to false and hide details visible is equal to true and we will do over here vice versa this will be true and this will be false by default hide buttons will be visible false so when we click show details it will show details and we click on hide details it will hide details but how to make it dynamic we will see or here we need we need a for example data keys over here which is department id which is the primary key for this particular table departments so we will say row dot sorry grid view name dot data keys the number is row dot row index and because this is a integer parameter we will mention it as a convert dot to int32 so now if we run this so we will correct this one by saying that we need the value which is actually in this particular data key for this particular row so if we run this now again if you see this is only for finance department this is for it this is for hr and in this way we can assign the values with the help of data keys 
to get the values dynamically.